So in this video, we're going to take a look at changing the color of our MIDI notes, as well as the couple other options that we have to change how they're displayed within our edit window here. So I've just got several tracks here. The first one we've got an impact, then we've got a hive here, synthesizer, and then we've got a sample one on our bottom track. And we'll go ahead and start off with the synth here. And by default, our MIDI notes are gonna take on the color of our track and instrument part here. So we have this kind of yellow brown color here. And if I were to come to the color bar here on the left of our track header, I can click, open up our color palette, and then we can see that our MIDI notes are changing based on my selection here. Now, we also have this area here that we can click on and make the change like so. So if you happen to have your editor in full screen mode, then you can always access the setting here. But we'll go ahead and make that the smaller view. Now, if you'd like to change the color of the MIDI notes by individual parts, then you can always, let's select this second part here. And while that is highlighted, and it doesn't actually need to be highlighted, we can just right click on it. Now we see we have a color bar here. I'll go ahead and click once. And then let's go ahead and change this back to that initial color. So now we can see that for this individual track, we have two different colors for each of our parts. Now, next in line under our note color, which is set to part by default, if I click once, we can see that we have pitch. And for this, let's actually switch to our impact because I feel like this setting is gonna be more useful for when you're working with a drum machine like impact. So again, by default, this is taking on the color of our part. I can change that like so. But if we go ahead and change this to pitch, then we can see it's gonna take on the color of the individual pitches. Now, if I come to the instrument section here and click on this, then we can see the different colors for our pads. And that's what these MIDI notes are taking on. So for our perk disto, if I come to the top right corner of impact, let's change this to this purple. And now we can see that this is gonna, our MIDI notes are gonna take on that new color that I changed the pad to. So this can help you to more easily identify your drum samples, your drum sounds within the edit window, especially again, if you are working in this full screen mode. Now let's switch back to our synth. And you can see that the edit window here has changed to pitch. So this is gonna be a global adjustment when you make this here. You can't do this discreetly for each track. Now, next in line, we have velocity. So now these are all the same color because our velocities are all the same. If I select this note here, then we can see that the velocity is set to 80%. This one is 80% and so on. But while this is selected, if I come down to the parameter automation lane, just hover on that velocity bar. I'll click, hold and drag to take that down. We can see that its color has changed. If I select this note and click, hold and drag that up. Now we have this reddish color here. Now with our arrow tool, if I click hold, if you're activated with the extended mode, then you can also just hover at the top of your MIDI notes. And we'll actually need to zoom in a bit. So I'll hold control and let's zoom in a bit. Now when I hover, well, we may need to do a little bit more. Okay. Now when I hover at the top, now that we've zoomed in a bit vertically, the arrow tool is gonna change and we can actually click hold and drag to adjust our velocity like so. And you can see the color changing as I make the adjustment. And then next in line below velocity, we have scale. So let's go ahead and select that. And we can see that all of our notes have turned blue. Now, the reason that they're blue is because actually we haven't activated the scale feature yet, but I'll go ahead and click on the checkbox here. Now we have activated the scale feature and we're on chromatic C. So basically wherever I put a note, they're gonna be blue. But if we were to change this to, let's just say minor pentatonic and we'll change this to E. So now any notes that fall outside of the scale that we have set here is gonna be in red. So if I click 
once and use the up arrow and move that to within the boundaries of our scale. And we know what that is by this blue highlight on our notes. We can see that this then becomes blue. And this one is not within the scale because it's on our D sharp four is red. Again, I can click to select that arrow down and then that turns blue because now it's falling within our E minor pentatonic. Now let's go ahead and change this back to part to take on the color of our parts. And we'll just take a look at a couple of these settings at the bottom. So here we have velocity bar. So if you notice, we have this little bar in the center. Let's actually make this full screen. And I'm gonna hold control and let's zoom in a bit here. So this is gonna be a bit more apparent on this color here. And if I come down to the velocity bar here and then click, hold and drag to make that adjustment, we can see that velocity bar being adjusted in our MIDI note. If you'd prefer not to see that there, then you can just deselect. And then as I adjust the velocity, we're just changing the overall color, the shade of that MIDI note. Now, next in line, we have black selection. So if I click to select the note, then we're gonna have a black color with a white outline. By default, when we have that deselected, it's gonna be white. Okay, now then finally we have note controller. So if I go ahead and select that, and let's come back to our part automation lane. Here we have note controller, and I'm gonna select, I'm just gonna click here on this note. We can also click once to select a note. And while this is selected, I'm gonna press three to activate our paint tool and we're on pressure. We can click on this downward facing arrow to change it to pitch or timbre. But while the paint tool is selected, I'll click hold and drag to draw some information in here. Okay, so now we can see that note controller information being added to this particular pitch. So if you'd like to see this information presented in your edit window, then you have that option. Again, if I come down to the drop down menu and deselect our note controller, then that information is not going to be shown over our notes, but it will still be displayed in our parameter automation lane. Okay, so these are the various different ways we can go about adjusting the color of our notes and a few other options for how they are presented. I hope this has been useful. If you're interested in one-on-one -on -one training, I do offer that through Zoom. So if you would like more information, check out the description area of this video or the pinned comment below. And otherwise, I will see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching.